Welcome to the great state of Texas, where the state bird is beef brisket and home of the proud Americans you don't want to mess with. Me and my amigos, we only here for one reason, the Texas Taco Tour. <laughs> Listen, man, you're out shotgun right now. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell, because you're on a Texas taco tour. What's up, JPC gang? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, it's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. We're in the great state, the Lone Star State, baby. My state, Tejas. We're here to get messy, greasy. Texas taco tour. It's going to be love, peace, and taco grease. You're out shotgun. This is another episode, Jam Pack Cooking. Let's travel. Episode two. Let's go, baby. Here we are at the first location down in Austin, Texas. Right here at the corner of First and Live Oak. Austin, Teja, baby. Austin, Texas. At El Primo, where they're famous for these breakfast tacos. I told you so. We got to check out the best. Not the less. The best, baby. You got to get the chorizo, because that's what they're famous for. They say it's made in-house daily. Let's go check it out, see what they got to offer, baby. Hola. You ready? Yes, uh -huh. ready, ready, ready. Two of the chorizo and huevos. Uh-huh. And the tacos come with cheese, is okay? Cheese is fine. What do you recommend? Uh, for the lunch, asada or pastor is the most popular asada. one. Asada. Asada, yeah. and the asada con onions and cilantro? Si, no cilantro. No cilantro? Yeah, you know I don't, I don't like it. no cilantro. Okay. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I heard it's, re I heard it's really good tacos here, oh, though. Thank you so much. It's big talk, all of Austin. <laughs> We got the tacos orders, baby. We down here at ATX, Austin, Texas. We got the chorizo and egg, because that's what they famous for. She she off, she said these uh, corne asada was the best, so how can I turn it down? We got us a corne asada taco, man. I'm not big on breakfast. It's about lunchtime, but it still is bright. We drove over almost three hours. I'm with the gang. Y'all kicking it with Chef Ray, Mr. Money today. Texas Taco Tour. Let's go see what it do. All right, these look delicious. Is this chorizo? Uh-huh. Okay. And asada. Mild, and okay. the red one is very spicy. Okay, okay? I like it spicy, very <laughs> spicy. <laughs> thank Appreciate you. it. Have a good day, thank yeah. you so much. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's right, we got our tacos, baby. Got the famous, the egg and chorizo, huevo. And we got the corne asada. We didn't get much, because we got a lot of tacos to eat. This is number one. We finna taste these and see what these do. Let's go, baby. Right now, we gotta get into this beef, because I'm from Texas, baby. Yeah, on this Texas taco tour, why wouldn't I try the beef first? It come with the grilled onions and the lime and, and, and that other. Cilantro, all right. Hey, don't be that in my comment, Tejas. I'm here, baby. No cilantro, all right? If, if, if looks could kill, we'll be dead right now, all right? Come here. Come here. Yes, Lord. Come here. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, my damn. Wait a minute. <laughs> Gracias, primo! This shit is good. Now, I'm not gonna be biased. I'm not gonna be, you know, I have to keep an open mind. They set the bar pretty high down here in Austin, Texas, right in front of the Hulu market number two. El Primo. Yeah, Chef Ray, Mr. Donetto. It's up there. This ain't the, you know, the star of the show. We're on a busy road. I hope you can hear me. It's loud as hell. I'm in Taco Heaven right now. Yeah, Taco Heaven. Star of they show. Huevos and chorizo taco. Now, I love eggs. I love chorizo. And it's got some queso in there, some cheese. None extra. Come here. Hmm. <laughs> Look at the drip. Dripification. Big old drip. <laughs> El Primo set the bar high. My taste buds on extra. If it's nasty, I'm going to eat it. It's nasty. I'm going to put the extra e e e e e e on there. Yeah, nasty. We judge it out today with currency. We judge it from 1 to 10, all right? Best I ever had, they'll get, a, they'll get a 10, you know? I know this number one, and it's kind of dangerous to do this. That's what they tip is today. They get it. They deserve every last one of them 10s, man. This shit is hella flavorful. It's got the flavorification. You saw the big old dripification. Big old drill. Stop playing, man, and they definitely got the tentification. We out here. The gang with me. Chef Ray, Mr. Money. My friends over here at El Primo, man. I salute them. Chef Ray approved. You got to come check them out. Right here on First and Live Oak, man. This is the first one. We got to keep going. So let's go, man. Let's go to spot number two. El Primo, double salute to you. Yeah, in the parking lot. Who the thump? Let's go, baby. Uh, you can spend the block with black, but you're not like me. Uh, all I can't make 
Hey gang, what's up? What it do, baby? We back here. We at location number two. We in Austin, Texas, baby, right here off of Riverside Drive. Rosita El Pasto. So you know what we going for. We gotta go get us some El Pasto tacos, man. Y'all seen we checked out location number one. It was bomb, and you know they set the bar way up there. We got to see what Rosita the El Pasto is talking about. Let me put on my mask, cause you know Corona is up on us. Hey, 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 hey. Mask on. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> I want it authentic as possible. I don't want to change anything. It's how many you want. Let me get three of them. We're going to check it out. Check it out. I'm a corn flower. I'm a corn, man. Corn? So oh, let's yeah, do I'm corn. corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do, <laughs> let's do corn. All right. Let's onions and cilantro as well? Onions. I hold the cilantro. You got me on the cilantro. All right. I don't really do the cilantro, but you know, to each his own. Do one of them with cilantro. One of them? Yeah, just so we can be fair about it. One of them with cilantro. And enough? What else do you recommend besides the El Pasto? Oh. Well, there's this one called Capuchana. It's half pastor and half beef. Ah, oh, beef. He said the magic word. We got to do that, my man. Definitely the beef. Corn for sure. No, no cilantro. No cilantro. No cilantro. Gang, we finna eat good. We finna eat good. Yeah, we are gonna come back. All right. All right, cool. There you go. We back in the kitchen where it go down. So we had to put the mask back on. We're washing our hands, staying clean. Check this out, gang. When they say mucho and muy delicioso, El Pasto. <laughs> El Pasto to the max. Pork, right? Pork, yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, my God. That looks delicious. Muy hey. delicioso. And she's snacking it up on that. I thought they wrong. That's your secret. They don't want to give us the secret. I'm pretty sure, like a lot of time I said, it's topped with the uh, pineapple. Will this one be topped with pineapple? Yes, pineapple. Yeah, the yes, pineapple on top. And that's what I'm talking about right there. That's where they top it off with the pineapple and that, that's gonna grill with the rest of the meats and it's gonna get that flavor all the way down through there, man. One of my favorite tacos, El Pasto. It's hard to beat, especially right here in Texas, right up the street from Mexico, baby. They say this is the best. So we had to come and try it out. Okay, while we was back in the kitchen witnessing her stack up this mountain of flavification, I decided to stop talking and observe greatness. And the El Pasto taco is nothing short of that. Ganging its sexy colors from the chote paste had my eyes shining and my teeth gritting. There was nothing left for it to do but get in my belly. They real busy in here. Mucho trabajo. He know. So I gotta get out the way. I'm in the way. Hey guys, I appreciate everybody. Thank you. Gracias. We are in for a treat, gang. Y'all saw that. It's going down. It's serious. Definitely serious. We don't need the mask. We out the kitchen. But we're about to go wash our hands and get ready to eat. Let's go, gang. This is Jackie. She actually managed this location of Rose Rosita. Rosita El Pasto. Some of the best in Austin, Texas, man. She just wanted to come out and say what's up to the gang and let y'all know that this, this is going to be your new location here. Yes. Real soon, they're going to be moving. It's sad. Bittersweet. Beautiful location coming and we will leave everything down in the description. When you get a chance, come see Jackie here at Rosita El Pasto. Chef Ray, out. <laughs> All right, gang, let's check this out, baby. We got the tacos. We got tacos. Time to try them out. Corona is up on us. <laughs> Wash your hands before you're eating and touching your face and then all that thing. Now, let's check these tacos out, baby. Come on. They got seedings on the inside, but I, I, I opted for outside. Y'all know how I am. Corona is up on us. Y'all met Jackie. You met my man Diego at the front counter. Treated us well. These are really nice people here, man. I can't even lie, gang. If looks could kill. Oh, my God. Wow. They gave us two sauces. Typically, out in Texas, man, when we go into these taco stands, this is what we get. We get a, a, a salsa verde and a red salsa that's a little bit more spicy from the different type of chilies. But enough talking. Let's get into these. Lord, thank, thank you for these great tacos. tacos. Amen. Y'all know how I feel about cilantro. I'm Actually, I'm going to get it out the way. Might taste my taste. Mm -mm, last. We're not going to put anything on it first. Now, look, we outside. Don't be complaining. We can't. It's too much. I know it's noise out here. You know it, too. Come on in here. Come on. Wait a minute. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Let it marinate. What? Ja Jesse, hold on now. I know who made these tacos. My best Mexican friend named Maria. Her grandmama made these. I, I taste you a bad mama Cita, Rosita. Rosita. <laughs> Get the spice in there. Gang, y'all say it with me. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost bit my darn finger. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> At this point, y'all knew those were some badass tacos. Let's keep going. This is it. These people looking at me like I'm crazy, but I'm crazy about Rosita. Lord, have mercy. Y'all remember we was at the county and my man Diego said, hey, look here. I know you're here for the El Pasto, but I can feel that you from Tejas. You need the beef. Put that crispification on the outside. Rosita, big mamacita. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
Y'all got to get down here and try this. I ain't gonna lie. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead and go with the lime. This is richness. Come here. Rosita, big mama seat. Come on. Come on. Gracias. Hey, 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 hey. Muy, muy bien. The best. <laughs> I'm not lying to him. Wash it down with some of this. Agua fresca. Hola, hola. Oh, my man, hello. I thought I was in Mexico, man. Listen, gang, these people been at this location going over. I'm talking, bird. I said I'm talking. These people been at this location over 30 years. Almost longer than me. These people came in, they doing some construction on this side, but they got all the food trucks out here. They, I mean, they blessed in the middle of the pandemic. They got the food trucks and they, they got the old church's location over here. They doing good. They have been blessed because the product is there. If you build it, they will come. Don't get me wrong, but when you got good product, good people, everything else gonna fall in place. Listen, gang, you ride shotgun right now on this Texas Taco Tour with your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Money, right here on YouTube, man. This is location number two. And you know how we judging them. Austin haven't let us down. Tens all the way across the board. Get down here, Rosita. All her information will be down here in the description. I love you for watching. Keep watching. We're on our way to location number three. Let's go, baby. Tens. We just left at uh, spot number two. Rosita, El Pasto. Rosita, bad mamacita. Nice people, man. They got great product. On the first stop, you know, over there, El Primo, man, they set the bar high. You know what I mean? No cap. They set the bar high. But what they, what they lacked was... Well, they didn't lack anything, actually. I just, I'm not a big breakfast fan. Eggs and chorizo, they had some great chorizo. Bomb, top, had the juice. You saw the drip. Give it up for the drip. Smash the like button for the drip. Turn right onto South I-35. Come on drill. now. Hold on, let me get over y'all. Hold on right quick. Rosita, bad mama, see that what they are delivering there is greatness. Nothing less than greatness. They raised the bar through the roof. With the personality and the people, combination for greatness. You riding shotgun right now with your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Money, through Tejas, through these Texas streets. This is my home state. We rolling. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell right now. Because you're on a Texas taco tour. Number three. We on our way to number three. Let's go, baby. Gang, 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 gang. Look like we here, baby. We have made it to location number three. The Las Trancas. Had to take my mask off because we outdoors. This is another taco food truck slash taco stand, but it's outdoors so we can breathe some of God's great air. We left off from Rosita about a couple miles over and hopped over here on Cesar Chavez, right off of downtown. You know what type of food traffic here. You know what type of business here. A lot of people love it, and we got to find out what the hype is about. It's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Let's go see what they talking about, baby. Come on, put your mask on. Get boss on the What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? All right, man. I heard this is the best tacos out here. Oh, yeah, man. That's what everybody says. That's what everybody says, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, everything's good, man. Everything's good? It's asada, okay. pastor, and barbacoa. Okay. Three of them. So, I'm, going, I'm definitely going with the barbacoa. Asada, I want to try something different. The lengua. The lengua. Let's do the lengua. No cilantro. Onions is good. Onions is good. Do you like the corn or the flour tortilla? Let's do corn. All right, my man, no problem. At number 37. 37, got you. The tip gonna come if the food good. Okay. All right, time to see what the hype is about. I ordered us. He know. We got our order number 37. That's us. So y'all gotta listen. When he say number 37, go get your food. Let's see what this menu talking about. Come on. A side of the beef steak, chicken, uh, we got some of this here. Get on there and take a look at what this say. Yeah. Yeah, y'all pronounce it, because I'm not. But it's beef tongue. That's basically what it is. Some good stuff. I think I had it once. We're going to try it out and see what there's about. We got the brisket, the beef brisket, the barbacoa. We didn't get the apostol, because we know that Brazita a bad mamacita. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Thank you. We're in Tejas. Definitely coming with the salsa verde and the spicy. A lot of times, it's got the kick, but for me, it's never too spicy. Yeah, barbacoa, barbacoa, the beef brisket, shredded beef brisket, the corn asada, something like a fajita, but it's a taco. Beef steak, the beef tongue. This is what we came after. Very inexpensive, a couple bucks a taco. Lord, thank you for sending us these tacos. Amen. Amen. Let's get us some beef brisket on right quick, man, because we know brisket well. Don't be basic, man. No basability. Get the lime on there without the sauce on first. No sauce on. They pass it in. You see they got the dripification. Big dripification. Come here. Come here. Must be in the water. Down here at ATX. I ain't had a bad taco yet. It's kind of hard to mess up the, the asada. If you got bad corn asada, 
you're done. Wrap it up, leave. <laughs> Put a little of the salsa on the corner of the side. Spice. I hope that's got the spiceification. Stick the pinky out. Stick that pinky out. Come here. Come here. Mm. Okay, gang. We gotta talk about this asada. Okay. Let's talk. You see, I'm still chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing. No cap. I don't want y'all to get this misunderstood. Don't be misunderstood. The flavor is that. Flavification, boom, gone through the roof. Tenderification is what we looking for. I got to use my dental plan. I don't, I don't really like that. Las Trancas. Flavification there. Tenderification we looking for. Las Trancas. Bring me the tenderification. The tongue. On oh, here, the tenderification is definitely there. It's definitely there. there. I almost bit my tongue on the tongue, you hear me? This is good. Yeah, hey, that's one to try, seriously. I know what's going on. Somebody slipped on the tenderification on the, on the other side. You be the judge of that, come here and see what you want. The flavorification there, is that what you like? A little bit more to chew or whatever on that case on the other side. And that's what you like, come try it out. The tongue and the barbacoa, <laughs> tenderification, flavorification. And you saw the little drip. You know how I am about my beef. I don't play like that. I don't play like that. <laughs> Fives all day long across the board, baby. We gonna give them a Lincoln. I feel like I'm being more than fair here. Flavor is there. Beef is tender. Beef is tough. The beef is tender. The beef is tough. Take that how you want. Take it. It's all beef. Cook three different ways. Brisket steak. What cut of steak might be the problem in the tongue. When you play with my asada, fives. Y'all come down here and check it out, man. Right here at uh, Los Truncas. Right up under downtown ATX. Beautiful place. Beautiful scenery. It's a beautiful day out here at Tell House, baby. We heading out of here. I think this is gonna be the last stop in ATX. ATX have did us well. Let's look on the map. See where can I take you next. Let's go, baby.